Welcome to another bonus episode of Hockey Inside Out. Now, during the offseason, the Habs acquired Tanner Pearson from the Vancouver Canucks. What do you guys think he's going to be able to bring to the Montreal Canadiens lineup? Rick, we'll start with you. Well, another first-round pick for whatever that means, Stanley Cup winner in L.A. Um, you know, he's got he's got speed. He's got smarts. Uh, again, I don't like to judge too early. I like to get a, a, a feel for uh, for – for a kid or not a kid at 31, but uh, give him give him a chance to fit into the group. Again, he has some uh, some good skill level that uh, uh, seems to complement the group that they have there. So give him some time to fit in and see see what he can do. But again, he has uh, he has a makeup to uh, to play the kind of game that Martin St. Louis uh, would like to see played. Stu, yeah, well, I asked Marty St. Louis about him the other day. And um, he said he's a pro. So you can tell why he's been in the league for a long time and he's why he's been on a lot of successful teams. And I think picking him up, you know, we spoke in one of the uh, earlier episodes about Yoel Armia. And, um, you know, I don't think he has a spot on this team, but he might be a replacement for Yoel Armia as far as a fourth line guy, a veteran who, who fits more into the culture that Marty St. Louis wants. He knows what it's like to play with good players. Uh, you might remember when the Kings won the Stanley Cup, he was part of that 70s line. Uh, along with Tyler Toffoli and Jeff Carter. Uh, he was sort of the, the grinder on that line, the hard worker on that line. So he's a veteran guy who knows how to play. Um, coming back from that serious hand injury, hopefully he can he can stay healthy. But I think they, they want a veteran presence. They want a guy who can move up and down the lineup, play first, second, third, fourth line. The work ethic will always be there with him. Uh, a pro's probably can play with good guys. He can play with anybody. So I think that's the reason they picked him up. And um, as we mentioned earlier, you know, if you do end up sending your old army to Laval or trading him or doing whatever, I think they, they still want a veteran presence on the team uh, who can fill, fill that role. And I think he, he's, if he can stay healthy, I think he's a good guy to do that. Yeah, I think you guys said everything really. It's dependabil- dependability and versatility, right? And obviously getting assets for him around the trade mm-hmm. deadline, including assets that came with the trade. there's no real negative around Tanner Pearson. He seems to be extremely well liked everywhere he's played. So good locker room guy. He plays with good pace, not the most skilled guy, but I I think the comparison to Armia makes a lot of sense. I think he has a lot of the qualities that Armia has, like the the good things that Armia does. He does the little things well. He's not somebody who's going to hurt you defensively. He can play limited minutes and he can gust up to, higher lines in short bursts and you know the hand injury could be an issue but in the past he's been good for 10 to 15 goals and if you can have that on the fourth line that's a good start and you mentioned with prospects i mean he's a guy if he can stay healthy and if he does perform the way he can if the canes don't make the playoffs as we don't expect they will at the trade deadline he's a valuable commodity to a playoff team have that veteran presence guy who knows what it's like to win the stanley cup as i mentioned i can play up and down first line second line third line fourth line so that's that's Everything Jeff Kent Hughes does, he's, he's building prospects and adding people. And this was another example of bringing in a veteran who we can turn around later. We already got some some uh, potential future guys for him. And then you can add to that also if you deal him again at the trade deadline. Well, there you have it. And if you want more information about the Montreal Canadiens, check out HockeyInsideOut.com.